what is this irritable bowel syndrome we hear people complaining about going to toilet immediately after taking food or they pass more than the usual number of stools every day after consuming certain types of food we call this as grahani and more often this falls under vata type of grahani there are various types of 6 to 7 types of grahani out of which this falls under vata type of grahani irritable bowel syndrome is the topic which we are going to discuss now it is a very common problem these days especially in the urban population irritable bowel syndrome has really taken a toll on uh, peace on day to day living it is affecting about 6 to 18% of the world population what is this irritable bowel syndrome we hear people complaining about going to toilet immediately after taking food or they pass more than the usual number of stools every day after consuming certain types of food like especially milk based food or hot food spicy food etc and more often we come across such people being very much prone to stress this is the main cause for irritable bowel syndrome stress is the main one of the main causes for irritable bowel syndrome why because irritable bowel syndrome involves some fault in the digestive process especially which involves the lower part of the gastrointestinal tract the middle and lower part of the gastrointestinal tract and recent researches have shown that gut brain there is something called gut brain apart from the usual brain gut brain is something which sends signals to the central nervous system and thus stress directly impacts the gut brain as well resulting in the increased frequency of irritable bowel syndrome ayurvedically speaking we call this as grahani and more often this falls under vata type of grahani there are various types of 6 to 7 types of grahani out of which this falls under vata type of grahani and the common symptom is severe abdominal pain usually on the left side left iliac region it can involve other parts of the abdomen as well but this is the most common site of pain either the patient complains of constipation with pain bloating excessive gas production or there is alternating phase of constipation and then increased frequency of stools which we call as diarrhea and if they face this unpredictable combination of symptoms then their life becomes even more miserable the problem is not only about the passage of stools or obstruction to the passage of the constipation but also the mind status linked to it as well as the food pattern certain people they don't pass stools completely in the morning and what happens is after the breakfast or brunch or lunch they pass the another episode of uh, passing stools so what happens here is it affects their day to day routine and hence this incomplete bowel evacuation is also found to be another factor in manifesting this form of irritable bowel syndrome secondly the irritable bowel syndrome the cause of the diet pattern which really causes the issue should be identified as early as possible people who are habituated to drinking of coffee very frequently during the day taking excessive spicy food stuff fried deep fried food stuff they are more vulnerable because these all are directly increasing the vata bio energy in the body the most important thing here is even the modern medicine says use probiotics use fiber rich content in food so that constipation is relieved people who are suffering from the diarrhea phase of irritable bowel syndrome can go for probiotic rich food or supplements our age old tradition or age old recipes include buttermilk and that alone is really a boon for irritable bowel syndrome patients irritable bowel syndrome can be cured through ayurvedic system of medicine based on the constitution based on the duration based on the season based on the diet culture the treatment duration varies from 1 week to about 3 to 4 months people who are born with vata type of constitution or vata pitta type of constitution the 
time taken for cure is a bit longer than the other type like kapha pitta or kapha type of constitution. For further details about the treatment involved for in irritable bowel syndrome and any other clarifications, feel free to contact us. Comment us in the section, comment section for this YouTube video. Contact us on Sri Rajeshamala Ayesh Vaidyashala. Thank you.